Hi guys, welcome to another video. I would grab a cup of tea for this one because it is gonna be a long one. So today I am filming the first part of my um, halfway through 2020 kind of journal updates. So today I'm going to be taking you through my blank journals and the journals I'm currently working on. And then in the next part, we'll talk about the journals that I have finished overall. So it's gonna be massive, basically. I'm gonna talk you through all my journals, essentially, and how they've changed since the beginning of the year. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, we've got this little guy. This is a time planner. I got this from Paper Chase. The insides of the pages just look like this, and it's just a way to organize your day. I then have this little traveller's notebook, um, passport size one from the traveller's company, which we got in Korea from my time. And this is just a local things in Korea notebook, which is super cute. And then also from traveller's company in their passport size, I have this little traveller's notebook. Again, super duper cute. And then we'll carry on with the traveller's notebooks because why not? I have this larger one from my time. That is another travel style one. I'm sorry about this, by the way. I can't work out how to get my tripod to not have that in the way, but. <laughs> so this is just another cute travel one. And then I also have the traveler's notebook planner that looks like this. Super cute. And then I do also have some of these which are little tiny jotters in the touch flow I can't remember if this is I think this is a Midori touch flow which I got from my time and that is paired I've got some more to show from that and then I've also got these two blank fake travelers notebook styles so this one is just blank pages oh wait have I started this one actually I have started this one I lie this is where I just would write down my workouts when I was at the gym. Obviously, I've not been able to go to the gym for forever, so not filled it in in a long time. And then this one is blank. It is just lined, and it just has this Friends Across the Barricade sticker from Dairy Girls. Um, the next two I'll show you are my remaining unfinished Carrie Smith journals. So I have Mess, and then I also have a new wreck this journal that I basically brought as a gift with someone um, then hadn't given it to them like three or I think like six years went past and we found this under a bed still wrapped up so I've now got a second one so I can play around and do another wreck this journal at some point and then carrying on with themes a little bit I have some of the field note notebooks this is from the National Parks collection and I've just got, I can't remember which set of the National Parks collection it is, but we've just got the Joshua Tree, Grand Canyon and Mount Rainer. They are gorgeous. I'm so glad I picked these up. I got them from the journal shop online. And at the same time, I got these iconic notebooks. These are little, two more little pocket size ones. We've got this really cute bunny reading and then a yoga one. That was honestly just to get my shipping up, but they are so cute. And then from Mishmash, I have this kind of desk jotter style, but it's super cute. It kind of, you have different layers and lengths, and I just love how it looks. And then I have this journal, which is from a artist called Anne Smith designs or Anne Smith art I can't remember which I think it might be Anne Smith art that I purchased um, after I saw her on Instagram I absolutely love Highland Cows and I've always wanted a Highland Cow journal so this is why I got this one so the next two a lot of this by the way like I've accumulated a lot of journals recently and they are pretty much either from Korea so I obviously went to South Korea to see my sister and my main aim of spending there was to spend money on journals and I was also going to pay for like trips and stuff but because of the outbreak we weren't able to go on pretty much any of the trips or out for any of the meals and stuff we thought we were going to be able to go to so I basically ended up having a lot of money and the only real thing to spend it on was journals so I brought a lot 
and then also of course with lockdown a lot of us have been doing a lot of online shopping and again I fall into that category I did a lot of online shopping for journals and a lot of supporting independent artists so that's kind of why this collection has grown so much in the last few months because I've not had them anything else to spend the money on really so I've just you know I've not been getting out food I've not been able to see my friends so it's all kind of come on to journals so I've really stocked up my collection in this time um, sorry that was a bit of a tangent <laughs> These are Sonia Cav Caval I can't say it. Cavallini, I believe. Yes, Son Sonia Cavallini. Let me show you the name. Maybe it'll focus. Um, these are just two gorgeous designs. She is a French artist that I got these from Etsy. And then I have this little neon sheet journal, which just says moon and stars on it. And this one is in use, and basically I talk about different gins that I've tried. So I adore gin, and I've been on a couple of different like wine tastings and um, distillery tours over the last year, so this is kind of just talking about that. And again, I thought I'd be able to go on more this year, and obviously that's probably not going to happen now, but it's still really fun to look at the different kind of ones I've tried. Uh, especially so I've been to the Edinburgh Gin Distillery and the Bombay Sapphire Gin Distillery so it's really cool to have those in here and document the different gins that I try from that and so then also from my time in Korea I have these two Midori um, little kind of um, smaller journals um, this one's just got a sticker from Red Bubble on. This is Cornelia from Witch. And yeah, I'm in one of these at the moment. I'm really enjoying it. Then the next one I've got is this. This is a foreign language vocabulary book. My sister picked this up for me. I don't know if I've got any language in it currently. No, I don't. But it's just to help you learn your language. So I think when she got this for me, um, she was interested in learning Korean and I think I was still at school and it was in between when I stopped taking French language as an AS level because I didn't do very well. So I think the intention when I got this is it was going to be helping me learn my French but then I stopped taking the class and I haven't really picked it back up since. So this will be really cool when I do decide to pick that back up again. Okay. Next journal I've got is this fabric one from Paper Chase. This is a gift from my best friend at uni. Um, it's a super cute little dot one. I've got two other journals in this kind of style. I finished one and one's in use. And then the next one to show you is this little pocket sized journal. This is from Amsterdam. I picked this up when I was there and it's just got one of the traditional kind of bikes on it. Um, it's gorgeous, it's a tiny bit damaged, but I don't care about stuff like that. And then it's just got wide lines in it. And then I have this little pocket journal. This is from Oliver Bonus, and I picked this up when I was in Scotland. Um, again, this was a set of three. I've used one, I'm in one, and I've got one spare, which seems to be a pattern when I get sets of journals. And then this is another little kind of time planner. This I picked up in South Korea from Daiso. Super cute. Again, this was a set of two and I've already used one, so I really like these. And then we have this. This is just a little kind of, um, I don't really know how to call this, like a wrapped journal. The inside, you've got brown craft paper with um, rings. And this is basically where I document independent shops and Etsy's that I buy from. And then we have this. Again, this is from my best friend at uni. This is just a little dream big notebook. And in here, I won't open it up, but um, this is where I kind of talk about all my adulty boring stuff. So researching different kind of like credit cards, insurances, things like that. All of that stuff that I need to do somewhere goes in here. And then the final, oh no, not the final one from that shelf. Nowhere near the final one, but I'm kind of trying to do shelves at a time. Um, 
So next I have this moon journal. This is from Neon Sheep as well. I am yet to start this. In fact, I haven't even page numbered this one, which is really bizarre for me. I'm normally really good at my page numbering. Then I have this tiny little Jeu de Jouy um, journal that I picked up in Daiso again in South Korea. Um, I have this little Olaf journal, which was a gift from my nan. And this, I basically talk about new Disney releases, what they're planning to release, and when I watch a new film, how I found it. And then this was the second one in one of those packs. This is a super cute little picture of two foxes. And in this, I talk about my doggo a little bit. And it's kind of gonna be a future pet journal as well. So then this little pocket notebook, this is from a shop called, oh, I can't remember, When in Greece. And I picked this up in Greece. Um, it's really cute. It, they have different Greek kind of symbols. So this is the pie symbol. I absolutely love it. Adorable. And then I've got these two notebooks. This comes from an artist on Etsy called Pie Fingers. Um, I absolutely adore her stuff. I picked up five of her notebooks throughout lockdown. I have used one. She, they are recycled notebooks and the paper quality is just absolutely fantastic and the designs are adorable, I love them. This actually is probably my favourite. And um, I brought a set of three moons first and then went back and got this one and a rose because they were just so useful. And then I have this little one that just says the Bon Bon Notes and I think this was from South Korea as well. I cannot remember the store that I got this from, so <laughs> it wasn't Daiso and it wasn't Artbox, but I can't remember what it was. And then this was from Daiso, and this is just one of the Korean tradition pocket journals. And this is the final one from the shelf. Again, this is from the store that I cannot remember the name of, but this is just, oh, I love it. It's one of my favourite things I think I've ever picked up. So it looks like this, and then you've got this beautiful illustrated paper and just oh it's a piece of art I love it absolutely adore this journal I cannot wait to use it so the next lot of journals I'm going to show you guys also a kind of more on the small pocket size journals so I have this gorgeous handwoven personalized journal that I received as a graduation gift from my parents and I absolutely adore it. And then I also have this journal that has just got a castle on the front. The screen's gone a bit funky coloured, but the castle kind of just looks like this. This is Craigie Bar Castle in Aberdeen, and I absolutely love Craigie Bar. It's probably like my favourite castle. And in here, while I was at uni, I just made kind of like meal plans. So I haven't been meal planning recently, so I probably will pick this back up again once I do start doing that. And then I have this. So this isn't really a journal. This was a lush kind of magazine kind of thing that I basically turned into a sort of little junk journal because I really enjoyed the paper and stuff that they were using, some of the quotes. So I'm just kind of played around with that a little bit, which is really fun. And then I have this guy. This is just a little yellow Capricorn journal. Um, I got this when I worked at Monsoonero Accessorize and they were selling this. And then I have this Roger journal. Um, this I picked up in a service station on the way back from Scotland. And in here I just talk about plants, plant care that I, so the plants I own and their care. And then I have this, this is my, well, this was originally my 2020 like personal life little pocket planner, but I basically recently got a April to whatever month journal, uh, planner. So I stopped using this for my like dates and times. And because we were in lockdown, I really wasn't doing anything anyway. And I've started using it to track what journals I do, what journals I finish, what journals arrive because obviously I like do a lot of journaling. So I've got some more of the 
pie finger journals that I was talking about. These two were part of the set, absolutely gorgeous little moon designs. And then I have this design which is a Polaroid design and I am kind of doing little bits of art journaling in here, kind of in the, um, I'm not going to be able to pronounce the name, like mer mercurial milk style um, miniature art journaling, so I'm playing around with that. And then I have the Little Book of Bad Moods, which is a lot of fun. It is a prompt journal encouraging you to get your anger out. I'll just show you a blank page. And then I have this, which is the is a Neverland passport, passport sized journal. I picked this up from Literacy Gifts. Um, I love Peter Pan, it's one of my favourite stories. And then I have this journal, which is just Namsang Tower in Seoul, and I picked this up um, in the gift shop there. Really beautiful. And then I have this little journal, which came from Blurt. Again, this was a COVID shopping purchase. They had like a discount and free shipping deal on or something like that. So I picked up this. And then I've got this Jules journal. Um, I've worked in Jules in the past, so I um, absolutely love some of their designs. And I picked this up on sale at a garden centre, actually, which was nice when I was out with my family. So it's quite nice. I've then got this little journal. I picked this up from Bristol's Etsy Ho Christmas Market, I think it was. Um, I think I've got the designer's name. Our seconds notebook is the name of this one and in here I just kind of create cute little screen shots of some of the artists that I love and have enjoyed supporting on like Instagram and stuff and then this is another one from the Oliver bonus set that I was talking about um, this is just this really cute face design it's pink and I write down each month's playlist in here And then I've got this little, uh, again, tiny journal. This was from the Daiso Korean Traditions collection. And now we're moving on to the bottom shelf of my smaller journals. So this is a Pantone Tangerine Tango. Well, what's funny is I didn't realise these were going to be such a big thing um, when I got this. I got this ages ago from TK Maxx on sale it's just super cute I really like it it has a really nice designs on the page kind of a little bit different and then I got this from I think Odia's kind of like Covid sale so again they had a um, discount on or I think it was sale items and free shipping I can't remember but I picked up this little one very cute I love the little design and then this is my current travel journal um, it's kind of gutting because I really thought I'd be finished in this by now because I've not got much left and I was supposed to go to Scotland um, at the beginning when the lockdown in the UK started so I didn't get to go to Scotland and then I'm supposed to be going to Centre Parks so, you know touch wood I make that but I've been in this for a couple of years it's this Marco Polo design um, as you can tell it is absolutely massive because I stick everything in here um, I'm trying to think what trips have been on while I've been in here. I think I went to Edinburgh, I think I went to Cyprus, Greece, uh, the Netherlands and also Korea all during this journal so a lot of places I've been during that. And then I picked up this gorgeous drawing book from when I was in Korea but I absolutely love it. It is so cute. Um, I really like the square style. It's going to be really fun to play around in. And then this was a gift from my sister. She works in a, well, works in a card shop and she picked me up this, which is a Christmas card register, which is super cute for sending letters out. And then I just have this sketchbook, I don't know if you can see the title, um, that I just picked up from, well, I did pick up, it came in the Artful subscription box, the first round of that. And then staying on the theme of kind of like drawing pads and stuff. I have this drawing pad. It was a Christmas present from my mum and dad. I've just got an I Am Groot sticker on the front 
and a little baby Groot on the back and also a red bubble sticker because why not and in here I just kind of do little line drawings I'm working on building up kind of like a style with that and then I've got this tiny little notebook that says Chisholm this is a Scottish clan um, that is like a clan that I um, I'm trying to think of the right word like is in my heritage and in this little notebook I just talk about different crystals I have and then talking about centre parks <laughs> I've got this little centre parks um, desk pad and in here I just talk about different Lush products I've tried and then the last one from that shelf is a line a day journal um, I am on my fourth year of my current line and day journal and that just lives upstairs in my bedside table but this one was a gift for my sister for graduating uni and I'm so grateful for it and I'm really excited to kind of move out of my old one and start a new one like it's quite exciting to think about the fact that I'll have 10 years worth of memories in these journals which is really like obviously I have hundreds of journals so like I keep a lot of memories but it's quite nice to have them all contained in these little places so for the next load of journals I'm going to show you I will start off with my file effects so this cover used to be my mum's so it's really quite sentimental to me and I've just got this cute bubble stick on the front and this has currently got a 2021 insert in it so I'm really excited for the fact that I am all set up and ready to go when 2021 rolls around and then in a similar style I have this binder so I've never used a binder to journal before I'm quite excited for it so this is from Mishmash and it just comes this really cute little simple design you've got lots of different styles of paper and yeah I think I'm going to give it a go as an actual like personal journal I'm sure it'd be a lot of fun to play around with and so the next journal I have is just this purple one. It's got a couple of different red bubble stickers on the front. Um, it used to be my dad's, he wasn't going to use it, so I repurposed it. And this is currently my like IBS bullet journal. And then I have this notebook from Typo, quite sassy. I picked this up while I was at uni, so it's quite funny to like look at it now. And then I have my book journal. This I have two book journals at the moment. I started in this one um, and then took a break from it because I my other book journal, which you'll see in a minute, is a mortal instruments journal and it kind of felt more appropriate for my current age to kind of build that book journal first and then come back to a more simplistic design as I get older. And then I have this notebook. This was a gift from my aunt and uncle. Um, it just has Capricorn on the front. I am a Capricorn. I love the Capricorn stars. Um, and then here I just talk about decisions I make. Um, I basically got off um, some advice that said, if you're feeling guilty about like not going to the gym, um, it's good to write down like why you didn't go, even if it was just a, I couldn't be bothered, because then it's kind of tracked, it's kept in there, and you can justify the decision you made. And it also kind of acts as like a reflection. And then I just have this very simple notes notebook from Wilco and in here I just talk about any conditions that I come across while I'm working that I don't quite know about. Um, so I work in special educational needs and disabilities and sometimes you do come across terminologies, people's conditions and it's I think it's quite nice to kind of have more of an understanding of what this condition means, what it affects, if there's anything to be aware of. So I just jot down notes in here about that. Then I have this um, Korean subway map from Seoul. I picked this up at Nansan Tower. Um, it's just super cute, I really like it, nice and simple. And then I have this, which is absolutely gorgeous. This is a journal from Glitter and Earth, and it's just stunning design, I really like it. I'm very excited to use this. And I have this little Frodo uh, Cacao Friends from Seoul. Then I have this guy. This is from Lotus um, Journals. 
on Instagram. They kindly gifted me this to try it out and I absolutely love it. It is beautiful, the pages are stunning, they feel incredible. I will leave them down below, please go check them out. Fabulous journals. I think this would make a lush like gap year journal. Well, I'd fill it too quickly, but like that kind of travel thing. Like I feel like I'm waiting for a really exotic trip to try this one out. But the paper is amazing. It just is a really nice journal. And then I have this gratitude journal that I picked up that I'll be moving into when I fill up my current gratitude journal. I have a Lion King VHS tape style journal that I got from my best friend at uni. Um, this is gonna be my next dream journal. And then I have a recipe journal. I just write down recipes that I try out, things I really like in here. And then this was a gift from my nan. It, it just says, say what you feel. It's really gorgeous, gold signs. And in here, I kind of answer uh, questions about my past. It's probably the best way to put it. I call it my personal history. So it's just things like, can you describe your first best friend? And can you describe like your favorite park growing up? Stuff like that, so you don't forget those important memories. So then I have, I don't know if this is going to fit all in screen, but I have this journal. Uh, this was just a cheap one that I got off Amazon. But basically, this is of course Van Gogh's Starry Night. Um, and this has a real meaning to me because it, I associate it with my placement in my last year of uni. The kids had to interpret this picture themselves and create it. And I just, it brings me a lot of joy. And the kind of, when this happened, um, I kind of got thrown into a situation I hadn't been expecting and like that happens a lot in schools and it just went really well and I found the kids I worked like that I was on placement with were incredible and I miss them a lot so this means a lot to me when I look at this because it reminds me of them and such a special time in my life and then I have this one which is just super cute love dogs from Artbox in so I apologize my lighting's just got really dark it's just started to tip it down <laughs> and then this one was also from our box and so absolutely gorgeous I really love the design of it and then this one was from that ODSO it just says unearth your ideas it's just really a nice simple design then I have a Moleskine um, Oh, I can't remember what this is called. It's like architect or something like that. But these are gorgeous. I filled in, it was a set of two. I filled one in already. I absolutely love it. And then I have two books from Muji. This was a set of five. I think I have filled three of these now. Yeah, I filled three of these. So this one, I've just got some different red bubble stickers on the front and one little tarot on the back. And then this one, I just took using this um, free printable from Quinn Booley slash Mindful Hookup on Instagram. Her account is just gorgeous. I am constantly buying her printouts. I absolutely love them. I think I've got like six of them now. But I absolutely just love this design. I love how it looks with this. It's just so cute. And then I have this, which I'm so excited about from Mishmash. Um, this is they are, oh, I'm not gonna be able to remember the name. I think it's like Layer Journal. Um, it's in lilac, I know that. And you just have these three journals. This is attached, can you see? So it's all bound together and you've just got three different sizes in one. Oh, it's so fancy, I love it. Then I have this journal, which is just really simple, black and white style, which was from Paper Chase. Um, in a sale, I really like it, nice and simple. And then in the same situation, I've got this one, which is just this red tomato soup. I just love the photography on this one. I find it adorable, really like that. And then we've got three more on the shelf. I have my restaurant journal, which sadly hasn't been used in a while, but um, I absolutely love talking about the restaurants I go to. It's one of my favorite things. I've already filled one restaurant journal up. Um, I love good food and I love being able to support like local independent brands so I get a lot of enjoyment out of tracking that 
Then I just have this plain journal which just says Milano on the front. It was from TK Maxx. Um, I love something about this journal. It just is so floppy and I love how it feels. I This is probably like my favourite feeling journal, which I know is probably ridiculous, but I just love how flexible it is. Like, it's from the brand Italia. But yeah, I love that journal. I'm excited to use that. And then I have this one, which is just from Typo. Um, it's a fake National Geographic. Um, and in here, I just talk about like online courses and stuff that I do. I take notes from different online courses or like if I watch a uh, like a YouTube video that has kind of something to learn from it I will take notes in that one. Um, I also recently picked up the Biddy Tarot 2020 planner. She was discontinuing her planner and was offering it reduced for that reason so I got the digital print out so that I could just start it from May. So this has been really fun. I've been doing my tarot daily in it. So the next journal in my journal collection to show is my adventure book. This book is amazing. If you've not seen this advertised on Instagram, it is just incredible. It just has lots of different countries, every single country I should say, and you just go through and fill it up. And I absolutely love it. I was hoping it would have like a brand on it. Oh, there's the name. So Nicole Najalast. But yeah, you can find the adventure book on Instagram or on the website but I absolutely love this and so the next one I've just got is um, this plain black one this was my dad's um, he wasn't using it so I repurposed it and just put this witch sticker at the bottom I do store my journals in colors which is why all these journals are now black <laughs> next one I have is this gorgeous black and white Mickey journal that I picked up from Disneyland Paris as you can see down the bottom this has got these really gorgeous white pages with just like these Disney um, Mickey illustrations at the bottom. And then I have this one, this is the black strap, which is why it was there. This is from Typo, and this is just kind of like a feminist style journal. Um, you've got lots of butts and boobs, so you know. <laughs> and then this is from Neon Sheep. This is just a constellation pink and black journal um in this i talk about my ghost adventures sort of things haunted locations i've been to stuff like that and then we have this this is my current book journal uh this is a mortal instruments journal from when the movie with um oh my gosh what's her name lily collins in and um i just track my books in there and then this journal is a moody journal my little sister got this for me and i just have on the front 57 which is a sticker to do with ncis and in here this is just my kind of like manifestation book so i've just got lots of different manifestations in there it's kind of like a vision board but i keep it as a book because that just works better for me um, this is my travel planner. This is a moleskin travel planner. I absolutely adore it. It makes me a little bit sad at the moment though because I have the trips in here that obviously I was planning to take and will now not be able to take this year. And so the next journals I've got. So I have this gorgeous um, journal from the Museum of Context which is a Harry Potter theme shop in Edinburgh um, and this is just a really gorgeous notebook it's just careful you end up in my spell book and it's just got plain paper I think it'll be a really good like Halloween time notebook then I have this this is from Artbox in South Korea my sister actually picked this one up as a gift but I picked it up if you know what I mean and look at this Ah, this is a actual like a book it's massive I love that it just says a book on the side I'm hoping that will focus hello and then yeah it's absolutely massive it has 500 pages I think 489 pages in it and it's half blank half lined and it's just gorgeous it's so much fun I love it so next I have this beautiful piece of art from Pipsy Puffin Art on Instagram and Etsy 
and I saw this design and I just absolutely fell in love with it. You've got the, such cute little three bears. Um, and she personalised it and it is just a beautiful handmade journal. I definitely recommend. And then I have this Muji journal that I won in a giveaway. And on the front, I've just got this witch sticker stuck again. I love picking up witch stickers, if you can't tell. And they're from Redbubble. And then I have this neon sheep little journal, which says you will go far. This is going to be my next travel journal when I use up my current one. And then I have another journal from Disneyland Paris. This is just this gorgeous illustrated kind of Paris scene with the red detailing. And it just has like a little tiny stamp in the corner, which shows the uh, like Disneyland stamp. Then I have this beautiful one. This is from Paper Chase and my boyfriend got me this for my birthday this year. Um, I had a pink one as well that I've already used and they just have really cute feminine quotes on the front. Feminine, feminist quotes on the front. So this one just says, well-behaved women rarely make history, which is an Eleanor Roosevelt quote. And I really like it. I like its size. I think it's really fun. And the next one I picked up is this beautiful journal from, um, I picked this up in South Korea as well at my time. And this is a Midori, I believe. I think it's a Midori. Mm, I'm not sure. Maybe Touch and Flow's the brand. I'm not 100%, but um, this beautiful red sketchbook. Gorgeous, not lined, just stunning. <coughs> so, carrying on with the red journals, I have this Map My Heart journal by Doma and Ink. And it's just a prompt journal where you talk about different things. About falling in love, breakups, stuff like that. Um, you know, I think not the breakups, but the falling in love. And I just thought it was a really cute way of kind of documenting that kind of thing. I've got this journal, which is from Odia, and it just says Le Vieux Belle. Um, super cute, little dogs, little toasts, what's not to love. I think that was on a sale and it was part of two, so I was like, yes, good deal. This is a gorgeous kind of oriental design notebook that my uncle got me for Christmas. Really beautiful and sophisticated. And then I have this journal. This is the a journal from Korea University. Um, so I visited there when it was in Seoul and this is just a really gorgeous, simplistic journal. It's absolutely beautiful and it means a lot to me. So next up, we've kind of got this pinky red. Um, this is just a notebook. I got this from TK Maxx. It's from the brand Semicolon. Um, it's got really nice paper. Really gorgeous. It's quite flexible. <coughs> Go in. So then we move into my kind of yellow journals. So this one was from Korea. It's part of the Daiso Korean Traditions Journal. It's absolutely beautiful. And then I have this journal, which is my Harry Potter Hufflepuff journal that I picked up at Heathrow Airport on the way to going to Korea, actually. And this is just, I am a Hufflepuff. I'm a proud Hufflepuff. So this is just a gorgeous kind of journal that I picked up. And then I've got this one, which is just, I got this at Paper Chase in sale for like a pound. Um, I got another one with pink on the front, but it just says coordinated chaos. It's just really simple and cute. And then I have this journal, which is a journal me and my mum kept when I was at university. We would pass it between us, depending on when I came home. So it really means a lot to, to both of us. Actually probably needs a better place to live. And then... I've got my cash book. This is just from Paper Chase. I think I really sadly brought this with my um, five pound birthday gift. Like, <laughs> didn't buy a fun one, brought a cash book. But it is really useful for tracking my spending and how I spend money. And then the final one from this shelf is my very short story starter book. And this is just a book which has loads of um, 
journaling prompts to help you do writing. What's quite fun about this is that it was a second-hand journal and actually on one of the pages there is it's filled in and I just find that absolutely fascinating that someone's like written a story and I've got their kind of take on what they do. So I have then got this journal which is from the uh, company Weekview. Um, I won this in a really fantastic giveaway and then I have this adorable Cornelius sticker on the front. Um, I've absolutely been loving using this, it's a gorgeous planner. And then I have this journal which again was from Typo and again I got it in a sale. Um, I think it was only £3.50 originally anyway but I think I paid like a pound for this. It just says secrets and stories and I researched stuff for my podcast. Um, if you didn't know I had a podcast called Witchy Weirdos with one of my best friends um, and we talk about things like true crime and mostly paranormal. Um, so I research and write that down in this. And then I have, this is still folded over, but I have my Mrs. Hinch Little Book of Lists. Um, I'm sure most of you know who Mrs. Hinch is, but she is a famous kind of like organiser on Instagram. And I've just picked this up. I use this to try and get on top of cleaning. I think it'll be a lot more prominent when I do move out. And then I have this. This is so beautiful. This is the Michelle Obama Becoming Journal. So this is just a lot of gorgeous quotes and prompts for you to fill in. I haven't actually started it yet, but just like, it's, it's, it's a stunning journal. I can't believe I've not seen it around more. And then I have my Kiki K Dream Life Journal. Um, I saw Heart Breathings talking about this on her channel and thought I'd love that. I really am interested in it. Um, it's just a journal with lots of prompts and some writing and stuff. Um, it's kind of like a workbook, but it's gorgeous. And yes, it's from Kiki K. Um, I ordered it off Amazon though. And then I have my passion planner. Um, I won this in a giveaway-esque sort of thing. You had to fill out a survey um, about your mental health condition during the pandemic. So I got this and I've been filling it in at the since March, I think. And then I've backtracked onto pages to talk about my different journals as well. Okay, so the next journal I have to show is this journal, which I got in Daiso. Um, it's super cute, I love moons and stars. Um, this is just a gorgeous design journal and it's just got lined pages. And it's really sweet, sweet and simple. So next I have this gorgeous journal, which is from Glitter and Earth on Instagram, slash Etsy. Um, it is this beautiful kind of moon rabbit design. I absolutely love it. And then I have this journal that I picked up from Urban Outfitters. And this is just a crystal journal. I think this is beautiful. A lot of these ones I haven't started using yet, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> um, I have this journal from Red Bubble, which is just a quote from The Sky is Everywhere, my favorite book of all time. And it just says, the sky is everywhere, it begins at our feet. And I just love it. So then I picked this up at TK Maxx for like a pound in the kind of like broken department because it was kind of a little bit beat up, like the back's quite beat up, but it's from the company Raiden. And I just think this is really gorgeous. Really simple, cute. And then I have this beautiful journal, which was a gift from my nan. Uh, this is a Kiki K Life journal. It is stunning and so simplistic, I just, absolutely adore it. You've got some gorgeous quotes throughout. Really beautiful journal. So then I have some, I have this journal, which was a gift from my parents for Christmas. This is technically a sketchbook. Um, it's really beautiful. I absolutely adore it. The paper quality is lush, like the tape is really thick. And then I've got this little guy that I picked up in Amsterdam. Um, with the gorgeous houses and then I have my Midori um, notebook that I picked up in my time in South Korea it is just beautiful it's so gorgeous I cannot wait to use this yes I haven't taken this off yet just because I am protective of this journal it is stunning and then I have this gorgeous journal, which was a gift from one of my best friends. That is a Disney journal from 
it's a Disney Wisdom Journal. So this is Disney Wisdom Volume 8. And it's a Bambi quote. If you can't say something nice, don't say nothing at all. Super cute, really gorgeous. Very excited to use it. And there is a Polaroid of me and my best friend inside it from the day when she actually gave it to me. And so I've then got a, another beautiful notebook. I think this might have been from Artbox. Um, it's just gorgeous, it's simple, really like it. My sister did tell me at one point what the Korean stands for, but can I remember? No. So next up I have this a Kath Kidson journal. Um, I basically use this as a medical journal, so I just talk about like doctor's appointments and stuff in this. And then this was from Artbox as well. Um, this is a fitness journal. Um, I'm so excited. So when the gyms open back up finally and I can get back into working out, I'm going to be using this journal. I'm going to move out of my old fitness journal because it's not particularly working for me and move into this one. But I'm just going to wait until we get the gyms back and I can actually do it properly. So then I have this little beauty. This is a Christian Lacroix journal and um, I really like these journals. I've got another one that I'm using at work currently um, that I'm sure will be in this video at some point. And this was a gift from my mum. Um, it was just in the sale at TK Maxx and she thought of me. And this is like a planner. It's a blank planner so I'll be using this next year as my work planner. Uh, you've just got the days of the week and some note pages. This could be so useful for planning my work to-do lists. So useful. <laughs> so next up we have this gorgeous moon journal from Glitter and Earth. I just, her illustrations are something else. I absolutely adore them. Um, this one's just moon. It's got three moons, some gorgeous butterflies. Beautiful. And then I also have this very plain and simple exercise book from Paper Chase. This was like 50p when I got it in the sale and I basically have been using this as like a make your own kind of calendar. So I started this and then I've actually had like proper calendars since but I've yeah I'm just filling this in finishing it up. It'll be finished at the end of this year and then I have another gorgeous um, journal from Glitter and Earth. This one's just got a gorgeous deer and a moon and you'll notice a real theme here that I love moons. Um, I really like deers and nature and all things kind of like slightly wicker. Like I adore those on my journals and you can kind of see that here. This is a journal. Um, I picked this up in a Korea. I cannot remember the name of the shop. Um, oh it might be on the inside. I tend to write these things in. Oh maybe I haven't this page numbered yes yeah, so this is already page numbered so I've not gone through and written my inscription and stuff I just can't it's so beautiful this is what the pages look like on the inside so you've kind of got some dots some lines and more squares just beautiful and then I have this this is a Filofax flex notebook this is I think like three times second hand now I'm pretty sure it was my dad's and then it was my sister's and then it was mine um, and this is just my baking log. I talk about what I bake in here. And then I have this beautiful journal, which is a colourful life journal. And this is basically just, a, I've opened this on the blankest page possible, but it's just a normal run of the mill journal. Like it's not a prompt journal or anything, but it just has these gorgeous pre-decorated pages in it. So I am super excited to work in this. And then, of course, I have got the beloved Get Your Together journal um, by Sarah Knight. This is a prompt journal. I am slowly working my way through it. Um, the reason I'm slowly working through this is because I started this in January and a lot of the goals I've got in this journal, I currently can't do because of lockdown. So again, this is kind of one that I will, I've kind of been forced to wait in for and I will pick back up when lockdown is over. And then I have this beautiful journal, which is just a notes journal. It's um, of St. Michael's Mount in Cornwall. I'm really hoping the name's on the back, yep. So this is from Spilled Ink, a gorgeous brand, a really lovely person. And it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And then I've just got this Bon Nut. Um, this was part of a set from Odia. Um, it's just got some simple lips and some Eiffel Towers on the pages. 
and yep I'm just gonna use this one for little notes so next something I really like to have is a plain journal so this is a plain journal from paper chase and I've just decorated it with red bubble stickers so we've got Clary from the mortal instruments um ironically she's actually probably one of my least favorite characters but this is just beautiful like this artwork it's gorgeous and then we've got two no face I've got two tarot cards and then this magic spell that says um you are magic and then on the back I have this NCIS quote so it's got all the different ones it's got Tony and Eva and then I've got the hex girls from um Scooby-Doo which is brilliant and then I've got the frying pans who knew right from Tangled so I love having that with all those stickers on it it's just kind of cute and retro and so then I have this take note journal this is from Accessorize and this is my current fitness journal um, it's just not working for me. The paper quality is too thin for the kind of pens I want to use. And then the dots are just massive and yeah, it's just not really working for me. I have to stick pages together in order to use the thick pens I want to use. So I think once I can actually actively get back to the gym, I am going to say goodbye to this journal just because it's, it's not the one for me. And that's no fault of the journal, we just haven't clicked. And then this is a 2020 diary. Um, this is really sweet. This is from my nan. And every year she buys me a year journal and I write in it. So I've got one of these since 2014, which just means a lot to me. And I was like, this is our thing. Like she gets me one of these every year. And I just feel very lucky about that. So this is probably the most random section of my journals. Um, this is kind of just like a lot of miscellaneous journals. So this is my address book and birthday book. This I picked up from John Lewis. I love the little dash hand design, it's so cute. And then I have my Animal Crossing Island Planner. Um, I was so excited to get Animal Crossing. I always wanted to play it as a child. So this is me kind of getting that, which is really cool. And then I have the Do One Thing Every Day That Inspires You journal. I've been working in this for ages, but I am slowly getting through it. And similarly, I have the One Page At A Time journal by Adam J. Kutz, and I do this on a daily basis as well, just to get some creativity in. And then I have this journal, which is an inside out journal. And this is my like Disney tracker. So I talk about the different films that they've overall got which ones I own on DVD, which ones I've seen, stuff like that. And then I have my travel list journal. This is just a journal with lots of journal prompts about traveling that you can fill in. And I forgot to mention, I think the last two were both gifts. And then this was a gift from a friend in secondary school. This is currently my interior kind of design planner journal. So when I have to move things around, when I'm looking for colors of walls and new furniture and stuff like that, this all goes in here. And then I have this journal. This was a gift from my nan. And this is um, the journal I use to write stories in. And on a similar note, I also have a creator's writer's nurse. Oh my God, none of those words came out right. Creative Writer's Notebook. And this has just got a bunch of prompts and information about writers to kind of inspire you. And then I also thought I'd show here because this all lives on the same shelf together my massive gist binder um and in here i kind of i track the journals i own and then i also kind of like um when i get like sample journals so like this is a law of attraction one where you've got like a month i keep them in here so i've got a i've got my career haul and an article and then i've got like a 2020 social media calendar by janet murray which actually i need to update soon um 101 questions to ask yourself to build a successful 2020 i filled that one in that was from freedom mastery um this is the mind map 21 days so i filled that one in and then i've got some blank ones to fill in at some point so this is a minimal plan project planner yeah, project launchpad workbook. And then I have a making journal for when you have like a craft project. And then I have the digital ultimate business mindset planner printout. 
so I like to keep those all just in there. Um, I do love to try out pre planner printouts, I think it's a really good way to commit to planners. So that all lives in this with this really cute little cover page on. So then I have a moon journal. This is so gorgeous. I have been in this for two years um, just because I seem to get to, for some reason, like August, September time and then I just forgot last year. So I've kind of come back through to fill this in again, but it's absolutely beautiful. Um, it just has journal prompts for each stage of the moon in each month and it's beautiful. And then I have the happy book. Again, this is really funny because I got this second hand and it has pages written in, which is really interesting, especially when one of the first pages is like, fill in the things that make you happy or something like that. And the list that she, the person who used it was before is so different from what my list is. So it's really entertaining to see. But yep, so I do this every morning. And then similarly, every morning I use my watered intention journal, which is from, I'm not gonna use this, Kaala, um, on Instagram. She is fantastic. She, uh, she has two adorable children and these journals are beautiful. And I say these journals because I also have the Rooted Journal, which is a 52 um, week book of intentions, whereas this is like a daily intention journal but they are beautiful books. I really love them. They are gorgeously made and I'm having so much fun filling those out. And then the other one that I use every single morning is this journal. I think this one is from my one of my best friends, um, but I have the exact same one that I used as a dream journal before from another one of my best friends. Um, so they're really, they hold like a, a big place in my heart, but I just write down my dreams in it. Um, I filled one of these up already and I, I'm like three quarters of the way through on this one so very exciting times and then the next lot are just the most random set of journals these are the ones that live in places like my backpack or on the side I pick them up like you'll see but beforehand I'll just quickly show you I also just received the Fab Faber Castell sketch pad in my most recent artful box so let's start with my two little 2020 planners. This is just one pocket diary. This is my work pocket diary. I write down all my appointments for work in this. And then I have this one that is so beautiful. Um, this is from Paper Chase. This was a Christmas parent, Christmas parent, Christmas present from my parents. And I started the year by using it as an actual journal, not a journal, an actual planner. But because of everything that's gone on this year, I actually ended up stopping using it for that and starting to use it to track what journals I work on each day and when I finish, when I start, when I repurpose or when a new journal arrives. Super fun, love it. And so then the next journal on a similar note is my current bullet journal and my current bullet journal is a traveller's notebook. I thought I'd give it a go. So in here I just have um, a business card and some notes on some journals, um, a work schedule that isn't on go anymore, it's completely changed. And then I have this, this came with the journal, and this is just a bunch of like um, calendars, as so I've been filling these out, super fun. And then we have my current bullet journal, which is just this traveller's notebook, um, I think it's in 003. And then I've got this um, traveller's notebook clip on it. This is another Jandy Nelson quote. And then on the back I've just got some different stickers. And then this will be my next bullet journal. Again, a Jandy Nelson quote. And then I've got this flushed away quote and a, of course a spirited away. Oh, I didn't think about that. Um, stickers from Redbubble. And then I just have a gin leaflet, a ruler and a traveller's notebook note in the back pocket. So next up I have this little pocket journal that I keep in my backpack. This is just my anxiety journal. It's so beaten up, look at that. But this is what I just pick up and um, if I'm anxious I talk about why because it helps me a lot. And then this is my little pocket on the go journal at the moment. I think I'm nearly coming to the end of this which is exciting. I think I've got like 20 pages left. But yep, I just write in this whenever I'm at work or doing doodles on the train, stuff like that. And I need a place to write. 
And then similarly, I also have this little tiny touch notebook. I think I showed the other ones beforehand. Um, this lives in my um, apron for work. I wear aprons so that like we keep our pens and like hand sanitizer, stuff like that in. And um, I just keep this for any random notes I need to write down while I'm working. And then this journal also lives in my bag. Again, it's very gross. This was a finance journal. I think maybe I just need to stop trying to use it for that purpose and maybe repurpose it for something else. Um, but it's from Jules. It's really was really pretty. It is quite beaten up now, so maybe I need to do something new with it. And then I have this journal from Neon Sheep that just says Sheep Happens. Is it Neon Sheep? Yeah, Neon Sheep. It says Sheep Happens. This is my driving journal, so I just write about... I mean, I don't use this very often at all, um, but if I had an accident or needed to take down a number plate or something like that, I have this. And then I also just track if any work's done on my car, when my MOTs are, stuff like that, all in here. And then finally, I'm gonna show you... Well, not finally, you've still got to see the journals that I use at work, but I have this guy. This is just a jotter. Um, this just sits on the side of my house and similarly once that one's filled I will use this little centre parks one for the same thing. So finishing up the journals that I have, I have the journals that I keep at work. So this is just my work notes and then I have this journal that just says jam packed full of love which is from Paper Chase and this is currently where I am doing some training. And then I have my gorgeous planner that my best friend got me. And um, I just keep this at work. This is just my work planner. It is a Zoella design, it's super cute. And then also I have some journals that I keep upstairs and I like my before I go to bed journals. So I have this little Disneyland Paris 25 years journal. And this is just where I um, use my gratitude journal at the moment. And then I have my poor little beaten up uh, one line a day. I think I've already showed you my new one, which I'll be starting after I finish this one. I think I'm on my fourth year of this now, so we're nearly done. And then finally, I have my Q&A a day. I think I'm on my third year of this. Um, I love doing these. These are so much fun. And then I also thought I would just quickly show you some of the like art pads that I have lying around because I do like to do kind of like art journal -y stuff. So I have my, just some acrylic paper. I have this, this isn't even gonna like fill the whole thing. This absolutely massive sketch pad. And I have my watercolor sketchbook. So yeah, this is my massive ongoing or new blank journal collection. Um, this is my update for so far this year. So halfway through 2020. Um, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and getting to see all the different journals I have in this collection. And stay tuned for part two where I'm going to talk about the journals that I have finished so far this year. And then at the end of the year, I'm going to do a big kind of updated 2020 finished journal collection. So all of my finished journals. So stay tuned and, you know, follow, like, subscribe, whatever platform this is on, if you would like to see some more of it.